Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, briefly the SKU notation for the WCA for next year. So next year, 2014, SKU will be an official event, and of course the regulations have to accommodate for it. So uh, the wording in the regulations for how to scramble for SKU uh, might be tough to understand. I think that Sarah did a really good job at relaying the concepts uh, of this, the, the notation that we're going to be using, because the concepts are really difficult to, to describe and doing it in the way she did is very admirable. But it can still really confuse people, and I have people saying, what is this? So, here we go. So I'm going to assume you already know how this cube turns. Basically, you take three adjacent centers, put your fingers on them, and twist in either direction. And uh, all the turns of the layers go about one corner. So you see this corner just rotates in place while everything else shifts around. So with this said, uh, I'm going to let you know that there are four letters that we're going to use. R, U, L, and B. Uh, R, U, L, and B are the same letters as we use for pyraminx, so it should be a little bit uh, analogous, I suppose you could say. So, here's your cube. An R move would be a clockwise turn of the layer surrounding this corner. In the regulations, it's the uh, lower right visible vertex. So that would be R. So turning the layer around this corner, and then R prime would be the inverse. So you just turn it back. U would be a turn of uh, the layer around this corner up here, the uppermost visible corner, and that'd be like this. U prime similarly would be that same thing inverted. L is easy. Uh, it's down here, a clockwise turn of the layer surrounding the lower leftmost visible vertex, which would be that, clockwise, yeah. And then L prime would be back. Now, a B move is a clockwise turn of the layer surrounding the uh, backmost non-visible vertex. So you can see seven vertices here. You have the six on the outside, this one in front. Now the eighth vertex, or corner, is stuck here in the back. That was invisible until just now. So, we're going to turn the layer surrounding that clockwise. Uh, and that's that. And then B prime would be the, the inverse. From the side, B looks like this and this. So that's very simple. So if I told you to do uh, U prime, L, U, R prime, you do U prime, L, U, R prime. Simple enough, yeah? So, hope this helps. I uh, hope this clarifies a lot of things. And uh, happy scubing. Bye.